Who is going to be our next Chief Justice? Five jurists undergo a public interview by the Judicial and Bar Council or JBC. The three most senior applicants go first. Teresita Leonardo de Castro, Diosdado Peralta, and Lucas Bersamin. The problem with the de Castro appointment is that she only has two months to serve. She retires this October. Your Honor, it is not as if that I will start today. Court insiders tell Rappler that a de Castro appointment opens the door for acting Chief Justice Antonio Carpio to accept his nomination after de Castro retires. Carpio declined the nomination because he did not want to benefit from the ouster of Maria Lourdes Sereno. He dissented to the unprecedented ouster of a Chief Justice via co waranto The second most senior applicant is Peralta, who penned the controversial decision allowing a hero's burial for the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos Sr. Do you think uh, the Filipinos found closure and the wounded families of the dead and injured by martial law were able to move on? I, 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 hope, I hope that issue has already been buried, Your Honor, because if we do not bury that issue, then uh, we cannot move on. And I still believe that uh, whatever is the past, we have to move on. Peralta is also asked about his wife, Associate Justice Audrey Peralta of the Court of Appeals. Justice Audrey Peralta tried to apply for presiding justice of the CA and may apply again. Will there be a conflict with the husband and wife who lead both courts? The man is always above the woman. So if he becomes the presiding justice of the Court of Appeals, I can reverse her. Bersamin is quizzed on the increases in his wealth. In 2017, he is the third highest paid Supreme Court Justice, with remarkable increases in his net worth over the years. Bersamin explains he gets substantial allowances from his memberships in electoral tribunals. His wife also has business in selling and importing filmmaking equipment and government deals come to her sometimes. There was an issue with the condominium unit that Bersamin only declared when he finished paying it. Uh, you mentioned that it um uh, you purchase, I think it's a condo in Makati, yes. um, and this is uh, done on installment. But is the installment uh, liability reflected anywhere among your salaries? No, I came to report this only after we already completed the payment, Your Honor. Uh, my belief at that time was when you are still paying by installment, it's not yet uh, time for you to declare. Maybe I was wrong, but uh, that is how I did it. And uh, the Compliance Committee of the Supreme Court has not called my attention at all to that uh, mistake, if it was a mistake, Your Honor. Uh, should there be need for the Council to look further into um, your and your wife's uh, uh, assets, would you think that your wife would be willing to sign a waiver as well? Well, as far as that goes, Your Honor, I think so. Justice Andres Reyes Justice Jr., the, the second most junior member of the court, also applies for Chief Justice, going against expectations that the rule of seniority will be restored in the Supreme Court, which has been shaken by back-to-back -back controversies. I, I have been a public servant since 1977, so uh, adhering to the, court, to the oath or living and sacrificing under that oath, I have no problem. The hardship of uh, the office, I am very much used and artists just I know the the problems and the rigors and the hardship of being a one uh, of a judge in a far long place a review of key Supreme Court decisions from 2007 show that de Castro Peralta and Bersamin tend to vote in favor of the executive branch or politicians judge Virginia Tejano Ang a trial court judge from Tagum City Davao is the fifth applicant the president being from Davao Alam niyo po si Presidente, patas na tao yan. Patas. Hindi porque taga-dabaw ka, <laughs> ikaw pipiliin niya. The JBC will deliberate on Monday who it will put on the short list to send to President Rodrigo Duterte. The Chief Justice post is one of the 13 Duterte appointments which will fill the Supreme Court by 2022. Lian Buan, Rappler, Manila.